Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with the Internal Revenue Service. Welcome to my YouTube station. It's the home in the five minute or less video. I've been doing this for 50 years. I know what I'm uh, talking about. I don't need a coat and tie. And I don't need a big book of library, uh, book, books of uh, libraries behind me. If you're smart, you know the stuff. You don't need to impress people. Anyway, I've been doing this for what? I uh, worked at IRS for a decade. I've been in private practice for four decades. Many of you have come to me. You've seen me on TV, and this is my YouTube station. Um, I have a whole team of former IRS agents. You can see my videos <coughs> and my team at 777irs.com. Uh, that's three sevens. I, I do these videos for, um, for, for three reasons, to tell you the truth, to educate you and to give you insider information on things you need to know. You should know that everyone tells you the IRS statute of limitations is 10 years, but however, pause, the normal, the IRS statute of limitation is 10 years. It runs from the day your tax is assessed and it runs for 10 years. However, however, but whatever you want, things can extend the statute of limitations to bring those 10 years out and you have to know this. So many people are calling me, hey, my statute's up. And I says, is it really, did you, did you know for sure that it's over? If you file an offer and compromise, if you file a collection due process hearing, if you're in litigation, if you're in bankruptcy, certain things extend the statute of limitations. The best place to go is to irs.gov and pull your own transcript up and to find out when the statute. Now, IRS is not going to tell you when the statute's up. You're going to have to do some computations. That's Sammy. You're, I do this at home because really it doesn't make a difference. You want information. Marie, you can just come and walk in back of the video. It's like a circus here. So anyway, the IRS statute of limitation is normally 10 years. That 10 years actually starts when you file your tax return. It takes uh, maybe sometimes a week or, or it may take a month for your tax return actually to go into IRS where they officially welcome your tax return on the system. That's called the TC-150 date or the date of the assessment. When you look at your transcripts and if you're going to irs.gov and you're pulling them and you want to know when they've started, look for the TC-150 code. That's the day your 10 years starts. So remember, certain things interrupt okay the 10 years so you have to pull the irs transcripts and if you have filed the offer or bankruptcy or litigation uh offer collection due process you're going to have to find probably a professional who can figure out what your official 10 years is over many of you have liens you want your lien released so you can at least start that so you go to irs.gov and at least find out when it begins if you need to know what your official date is if you haven't had any of those things i mentioned you have a pure 10-year date if you've had those things like i said you're probably going to have to go to someone who has a software who can actually go ahead and their software actually figures out when the 10 years is up if you if this way if you want your lien uh, released or something irs will then release it at the end of that time if you want to know how to release your lien, it's not just going to go by itself unless you pay it in full. If you want a hard copy, you're going to have to probably call us or look at my videos to find out how to get a hard copy. Thank you very much for listening to the video. Remember, pull your transcripts up. It's the best place to learn to start when your 10 years is up. Thank you.